Hi guys, Angie Beth, my fairy treasures. I'm coming around. Hi guys. Okay, we have a Dollar Tree haul. Yay. Let me get my wand out. Let the show begin. For anybody know that I've been starting my shows now with my little fairy wand. This is my fairy treasures. Okay. Stop the foolishness. Let's get started. I got a lot of fall stuff still because I've been watching Olivia. Olivia Crafts. You guys probably all know her. She does so many good, beautiful uh, crafts from um, DIY crafts with Dollar Tree products. So she's giving me more ideas than I need. And um, I'm like, I need more ideas. My head's always going. But she's giving me so many great ideas. So I picked up some more things for fall DIYs. And I picked up stuff for Christmas DIYs. Um, I picked up, I think, three of these. It says we are getting married. I don't want it for that. But see how the buffalo check... Mackenzie Child also does like a buffalo check and she does flowers with a buffalo check. Well, um, Olivia put like a, um, another, um, like another wooden piece and glued it in the middle of here for a DIY and it was fabulous. And she left this checker as the border and I'm using a lot of that check in my, um, my fall decor. I'll, I'll do, when I do it, I'll do it on, um, I'll do it on camera. Um, I picked up three of these. I've never picked these up before, but since I'm doing so many DIYs and they run out of this rope so quickly, I picked up four of them. I always hear everyone say they run out. And I didn't really like the rope before. It was really stiff. You guys, this rope, I love the color and it's very loose. So this could be really fabulous to be using in DIYs. So I'm glad I have that in my stash now for DIYs. Especially for fall, I think it'll be great. But I think it'll just be good to have in your stash for fall, but for any time. Um, I picked up two more of these. Um, I picked up two more of these wire um, pumpkins. Um, I think I had picked up like three of them. And I just saw two more sitting. That's all they had there. And I just thought, you know, I love these. And I don't know if I'll get to all four or five or six of them, whatever I bought of these. I'd say I bought five this year, but I'll at least get to two or three of them. So very excited about these. And I heard a lot of people saying they had a hard time finding those. So I figured, you know what, let me stock up now because we might not even see those next year. And then I'll have a couple for next year to, you know, make some new pumpkins up. Okay. Uh, I picked up one, two, three, four, five bags of this just to, for, to, for my stash for fall. And just to have them in my stash for all year around, you really need it. The floral moss. And this is the moss I like to use. Isn't it beautiful? It just looks like real moss. So I just really stocked up on this and bought five bags. So that's what's in this whole thing is five bags of that. I bought just one more of these because I had bought in one, which was just foolish. These with the sign. I knew I wanted to put them outside. I have these, um, stainless steel um, like water, uh, watering cans, but I put flowers in them. And then I put those in like this big wagon. You guys will see it when I do my fall decor uh, video. Um, but I stick those in there with a bunch of flowers. I only picked up one. I'm like, I knew what I wanted to do. Why would I pick up one? Anyway, I was lucky to find another one because these went quick. There was only like one or two left. So I did, was able to get another one of these. Isn't it beautiful, you guys? I love it. So nice. So if you... If, and if you want to take this off and do something with this part for a DIY, pick up a few of them when you see them because those are going quick. I say anything that you want for DIYs, pick them up because, and pick up is what you think you need and maybe pick up a couple extras because the stuff is flying off the shelves. I just want to tell you, this is not a big deal, but I hate talking about mundane stuff, but these panty lighters are a great deal. You get 40 in a pack. These are a great deal. They work beautifully. I love them. I have a big stockpile of maxi pads and liners, but um, from this whole COVID thing, I wanted to stock on that kind of stuff um, along with the toilet paper. So, but I just, I've used a lot of my stock. So I just want to just keep that stock up. So that's why I bought three more of those. That was a big explanation. Um, I bought quite a few of these. I'll run into them in a second. Um, these are the brooms. I think these are, this is one of my favorite things that, that they've made this year because I don't think they had them last year. At least I didn't see them. I didn't find them. Last time I did a haul, you guys saw them in black. This time I got them in purple. 
Aren't they so flippin' adorable? Like I said, um, if I don't end up, whatever I don't end up using will go in like a little um, something something and um, and I'll just display them as decor because these have to be out. These are just adorable. I think a, a broom can be very fall. It can be very Halloween. I think it can go for all of it. So super cute. Super excited about that. Um, I bought, and I already used some of them. I think I bought five, I think I bought five or six of these, of these sunflowers, but I already used two bushels. Aren't these gorgeous, you guys? I always say when you buy these flowers, buy them in bundles of five or six, so when you can make yourself a nice bouquet with it. Um, and then buy yourself some other of the, um, like different picks and stuff, so you can add picks to it also. But if you only buy one or two, you can't make yourself a good bouquet. So buy a bunch of them. So even though I already used two of them, I think the one I have left, I only used a, a one or two off. So I probably have a set of five of these, not just four. So I'll be able to make a nice bouquet. Plus I have a bunch of picks that I bought from the last um, haul. I used some of these uh, for a wreath I made. So check out that video. I'll hook it to here. It's a um, fall slash uh, Mackenzie Child um inspired me so those sunflowers i love them. i have sunflower everything i bought the sunflower plates that they have the whole set um i bought a few extras this year just to add to my set to make sure i always have a nice set going i have big sunflowers in a big pot in my living room i have i have sunflowers everywhere I, all year round though i love it it's great for fall and then i just love having them all year round in my decor okay I needed a few more of these because I didn't buy them enough of these. Again, I need them for outside in these pots where the sign is going. I have these. So I have a bunch of Dollar Tree like sunflowers in these big, huge steel pitchers, like old fashioned looking. So I have all the flowers in there and I have two of them in this red wagon, which I have filled with all fall stuff. It looks really cute. And then I have these in there, but I needed a few more and then I needed one more of these because the other one has one. So. I already decorated almost, except for around my door, for fall outside. Because I was, what was I doing? I was cleaning out my garage, and then I was getting all my fall stuff out. Well, as I was getting it all out, I just started finding all the fall de outdoor decor stuff that I like. So I just went ahead and decorated it a couple weekends ago. So that's done. Almost. I got to do around the door. I do um, a big, you know, greenery thing around the door. Um, I picked up two of these and one, two of them lost their little stems. Anyway, I don't like this orange whatsoever, but they didn't. Oh, I went to one store and I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to find any of them anymore. I did find the, the, the white ones, like the beigey white ones. So these will be painted like a beigey white and I'll throw some speckles on there and stuff like that. So, but I just wanted to have that size. So, I'm glad I got those. Okay. But I looked in my stash. I have, I bought the beige ones last year. And I think I picked up more of those little beige ones this year too. Anyway. I am a hot mess. Okay, I picked up one, two, three of these. And I picked up a couple more of this bundles of raffia. And I picked up a couple of that have some fall colors too, because Olivia from her channel, Olivia Crafts, I can't think of what her whole channel is. I'll try to make sure I link her channel below. She, around the door, she um, gets the um, Dollar Tree um, leaves that are on like the vine going around the door that you can put around your door. She puts three or four together, which is what I always do too. And then she wraps different things around that even. Ribbon, she wraps all the way around. She wraps raffia all the way around. She gets it really super bulky and then she throws flowers in it. It's gorgeous. That's what I want to do. I think what I'm actually going to do, I'm sorry to stop and tell you guys this, but you might give you an idea. I'm going to take my Christmas greenery that I put around my entire door and it hits the ground. Then I want to take the uh, the fall leaves, the vines of fall leaves, wrap that around it, uh, wrap ribbon around it, wrap this around it, then then shove in all these um, flowers, all these fall flowers. It's going to be gorgeous. And then it'll already be up. I can take all that apart and then do it up for Christmas. So I think that's a good idea. And the greenery that you see on it, so there's going to be so much stuff on it. People aren't going to know what's underneath it, that that's uh, Christmas greenery. 
and granary is granary. That's how I look at it. So, well, you guys will see it in the um, video when I do my fall tour video. Okay, I bought one, two, three. I bought six of these, but I already used two of these. These are the pizza pans. What I bought these for is I love these for uh, tiered trays, like a three-tiered tray. And then you can put the candlesticks, the glass ones, or the ceramic ones. Or you can use a wine glass um, to for your pedestals. And then all three of them go like this. Well, I McKinsey Childs them, which means I did checks on one. I did flowers on another one, which was napkins. The checks I painted on, and then I did checks on the bottom one. I'll hook that video onto this too, so you guys can see it. Came out really cool. So um, I bought another one because I want to make another one of them. I already made one, so I want to make another one. So I bought three more of those pans. And the reason I like the pans for the three tier trays, a lot of times people use the they use plates, which I don't think are big enough for what I want. Or they use the chargers, but then the charger has such a fat lip on it, like right here, the lip goes in so much so it doesn't give you this gives you more space in the middle to be able to put all your you know whatever you want to put on here uh your pumpkins a little houses mushrooms whatever you want to do for your three-tier tray set up so that's how i'm seeing it you know what let's just go like this okay Okay, then I picked up three of these, of these styrofoam blocks. This is not just one solid one. This is the ones that have four of them. One, two, three, four. Has four. So they're like this big. So one, two, three, four. And they're rectangular or square. Now, the reason I bought these is, is I was watching Olivia's channel again. And for, I'm not sure if it was Christmas or what it was for i think it was for christmas and for valentine's anyway she makes little cakes and she shows how to make cakes using a uh, wall compound and then taking wall comp using wall compound as the frosting and you can make it any color you want like i'm going to do my christmas is is a uh, is a shabby sheet pink christmas so i'll take the wall compound put a little pink in there and then put it on like frosting then you take they have them there your cake decorators which i'll show you now and then you do your cake decorating with the wall compound and you can put a little acrylic paint in it to make the colors you want, which mine are going to be pink and white and maybe a little robin's egg blue. And I got the two cake decorators. I'll just show them to you now. Did I pick two or three? I guess I got two of them. So that's going to be done at Christmas time. And I went ahead and bought the stuff now because um, I saw it. And, um, you know, because you never know... Stuff starts disappearing the closer you get to the holidays. So, and I picked up um, three of these, and you get four in a pack. So that's I can make up to twelve cakes. One, two, three, four. Yeah, up to twelve little cakes. Plus, I bought a couple of round ones too of the styrofoam blocks. Super, super excited about making those little cakes because I have like a little um, I have a little candy station. Well, this year it's going to be a pastry station. So excited. Oh, that's what that three-tier tray right there is going to be for. It's going to be for my pastry uh, for my pastry one. So when I do the checks on this one, it'll be pink and white checks. So I'll show you guys that on, on a, on a um, DIY video. Okay, I picked up four of these. And I wasn't even going to pick these up again on Olivia's channel. I was watching her, some of her crafts. And she took these and um, she covered them in whatever paper you need. If you're going to do them for Christmas, if you're going to do them for fall, whatever. So I want to do mine, cover mine in buffalo check, and then two other ones cover in some pink type of um, paper, um, craft paper. That's what I'm trying to say. Buffalo check craft paper for fall, and then I got some really pink, really pretty pink paper for um, Christmas that I'm going to make these. But anyway, then she took the metal letters that say like, let's say it, it says uh, fall in those metal letters that, every, that you get like a pack of three or four of them. And she e six thousand onto that. So she first she put let's suppose it's buffalo check craft paper, and then she put the metal uh, the metal word on there fall. Isn't that so cute? It would go. You could take all the pieces off. You could put it on a wreath. You could just put it in your decor. So I got four because I wanted two for fall and two for Christmas. Um, she also Olivia also made um, pink candy canes, and I want to make pink candy canes to go on my um. On my pastry 
uh, on my pastry little station I have for Christmas. So I found the perfect pink. If they would have had more, I would have bought more, but they only had three. They had, I found the perfect pink ribbon to make the candy canes. You just take it and you take a regular candy cane, like a real candy cane, or you take the plastic candy canes, which I'm going to try to get the plastic ones. You wrap it in white. And then you skip a little bit of space and wrap it in pink, skipping a little space so that it shows the white. And then you have pink and white, pink and white candy canes. I thought it was really cute. So that's for Christmas. Oh, I was able to get four. Never mind. I did pick up four. Okay. Finally, my Dollar Tree got some hard candy. I mean, I've gotten hard candy here and there, but n no eyeshadow palettes. Have I gotten any? No, no eyeshadow palettes. So I picked up one, two, three four one for me and the rest are going to be for all for giveaways for my get ready with me videos my makeup videos so i'll be giving these away um look okay for one look at the packaging the packaging is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous absolutely love the packaging um they have a beautiful purple in here i love the blue um these colors are gorgeous and I can tell how pigmented they are. I'm not going to swatch these today, but I'll throw this in a makeup video, my next one. So if you can watch my next video and I'll swatch them in that. Yeah, the colors in here are gorgeous. I'll let you see the colors. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're, I've swatched their colors before. They're very rich and pigmented. So they're good for darker skin tones also because they're really, really pigmented really pretty. I already see a pretty look that I want to make out of that. So, so, and look for these also in my giveaway, um, in my get ready with me makeup videos. Um, I'll be giving it, I'll be keeping one palette and giving the other three away. So very exciting. I was so happy to finally find some hard candy. I'm like, finally, oh my goodness. Okay, um, I picked up, how many of these? Two more of these. I already have a lot, quite a few of these, but I picked up two more. And the reason I picked up two more was, and like I said, I have a lot of them, is because I want to paint these. Um, on Olivia's channel also, I saw her painting and she did like three of them, like, like this together. And then she glued one more to the top. And so she made like one, two, three stack and she had them all painted and they're painted up really cute. So you paint the backs. So I'll be doing that as a DIY and um, do my interpretation on the painting of those. And then, oh, this is a really good one. I got some books, family friendly knits. Look at that. This book is regularly $22. I love to get their knitting books. You guys, Hobby Lobby has their clearance, 75% clearance on their yarn. So like their $5 yarn is down to like a dollar, dollar twenty-five. So some of it's 99 cents, some of it's a dollar fifty, dollar thirty-seven. So you guys get over to Hobby Lobby if you're a knitter and um get your yarn while you can at that good price. I'm just showing you a couple of pages. Oh, this is pretty. This triangular type of shawl. I mean, a dollar for a knitting book? Yeah, that's a ridiculously good price. Just trying to see if I see. Oh, that's a pretty sweater. Yeah, so that was a great deal. And if you know a knitter, that's a really good thing, especially now, um, to buy them some yarn at that Hobby Lobby sale and to pick up a book like that and give them a bunch of yarn and then give them a knitting book. That'd be a really good Christmas gift for like nothing. Uh, the complete guide to making wire jewelry. Um, I am a jewelry maker. I used, I know how to wire wrap rings, like really big stones, like stones this big I wire wrap and it come out really cool. I used to sell them and I was just interested to see like what kind of wire wrapping they have in this book. So there we go. This book was regularly $22. That's awesome. Just trying to see if I see anything that... It's just techniques, so it's not... 
exact project. It's just a lot of tech, good techniques. So yeah, I'm excited about that book. Awesome. Okay. Oh, here's another one of those, um, another one of those brooms I was telling you about that I love. Oh, and sitting here in front of me, I picked up two or three of these, three of these. I love these tongs and all the tongs they've had there haven't been very good quality, I thought, but these ones are. So it just, okay, it goes in. Perfect. And look, this just goes out and they're nice. And so cooking concepts. These are nice. So I picked up three of these. I cook with, this is all I cook with basically, is I cook with tongs. Absolutely, I'm obsessed with tongs. Okay, just so you know, the cooking concept ones are nice, if you like to have tongs. I picked up uh, four more of these. Um, I just used these in um, two um, McKenzie Childs slash Fall wreaths. I just did. I did a DIY on it, and I used this at the bottom of my, and put in my wreath. Fabulous. Uh, gather with a grateful heart. I did spray mine with, um, I really don't care about glitter. I love glitter. I don't care if glitter gets on me. It just makes me sparkle. I think of it as fairy dust. But um, I did spray them with, uh, just to see how it worked. I sprayed them with um, hairspray and it worked perfect. Like I said, I'm, I'm not, I don't really care too much, but, but if you do care, then the spraying with, um, with uh, hairspray works good. Um, I picked up these two and I don't, I'm not going to use them for my eyebrows because I have other stuff I like for my eyebrows. It's a wax pencil, about two of them. Someone said that, um, when I put on stones on my nails or I something on my nails, or you're doing a project and you need to put some stones like rhinestones on a project and you need to be able to pick them up. I usually use like a, um, toothpick or these one metal pick things you get in the craft section. And I usually put on denture uh, wax on the end of it so it sticks to the, the rhinestone and then you can put it on your project. Or you can rhinestone your, your phone case like that or rhinestone a project, it works perfect. But somebody said you could pick up the rhinestones really easily with this. So I just picked up two of them. I wanted to try that. And I thought if it works, I have two of them. Okay. lights in here I have a big huge ring light on and um, it gets hot in my room with this ring light okay just a few more bags okay remember I said I had bought some fall colors of the raffia I did so I bought these colors this will go gorgeous with the colors I'm using I like to use yellow and the pumpkin-y orange type of sunflowers that have yellow in them. They're gorgeous. So, and I bought one more of that color. And then I bought two things of this floral wire. And the reason I bought this floral wire is because, um, and I seen another guy do it who does a lot of decorating videos also. At Christmas time, I seen that Olivia did it and another lady did it where you take um, Christmas balls on a wire, it'll take like four of them, and make a cluster of Christmas balls. And then, uh, you know how you have the greenery on your door? Yeah, you wanna put a bunch of stuff on that greenery? Then you have clusters of um, ornaments at, all together, and you, put, and you just wire them on. And it looks like a big statement. It's really cool. It could even be really cool on your Christmas tree. So I picked up that, because that's what they use for that. So I told you I'm doing some stuff for Christmas already. Um, I have some projects I want to do for Christmas and maybe fall. Probably this is more for Christmas. But anyway, I need, I'm need. i going to use these little diamond looking plastic. They look, they're plastic, but they look like little diamonds. Yeah, super excited about those. They only had three sets and I bought all three. So it's for a DIY for Christmas. You guys will see me using those. I know it sounds early for Christmas, you guys, but if you can start now getting your Christmas stuff, 
then you'll get what you want and uh, you won't be fighting for it later or be having to you know search it out and stuff that's how I look at it okay also for Christmas Olivia again she makes did I get three of these I, I do have three of these there's one in another bag probably left it in the other room anyway I picked up three of these these are the um, things you put on the um, oh this feels good that you put down to stop grease grease splatter it's a splatter screen well you can take three of these no this is for um, you can take three of these somehow and make um, like a pumpkin thing out of them but you can also make little wreaths out of these also these one wreaths that I saw which were really cool which is what I'm gonna do for um, Christmas so you use a splatter screen to make a wreath. Doesn't that sound cool? And you can even then decorate this part here with ribbon and then put a big bow here at the top when it hangs. And I'll show you, it's really cool how you do, how, how she did these Christmas wreaths. So I have two of those, I have three of them I believe, but it's uh, in the other room. Um, just to let you guys know, this is mundane, but these are awesome, these reusable gloves. These. Okay, I got a name brand, like a really supposedly good name brand at the grocery store for four or five bucks. They lasted the same amount of time. I have to change them out every four or five weeks, sometimes three weeks, but um, it's the same. But if you have, especially if you have um, artificial nails, um, it really saves your artificial nails. It saves your real nails. Just anyway, just wanted to let you know, these are good. And they're just the same quality as the ones that are five dollars at the grocery store so you might as well just save the money okay i picked up i think four or five of these it might be in another bag um these are these little uh dish brushes okay they're great for dishes but these are also great for your toilet you know what these don't have the last one i bought had a little scrubber on the edge here so i hopefully this still works good it does this can get up right okay you know on the rim of your toilet where it's hard to get your big huge brush you can get right in there and scrub i really like that little scrub that they had up here but this will still work here because i did i have used it and you can get right up underneath the the top part of that toilet where it's hard to get to scrub um and then i do both toilets and then i throw it away and the reason i do that is I, I there was a lady who said she um she bought a toilet bowl brush where it's like this and it's really small on top and they just have exchangeable heads. I'm sure those exchangeable heads are probably a dollar a piece. So I thought, let's just buy these. So I buy four a month and then I throw them away. It's better than keeping, if you think about it, because she said it to me and I never really thought about it. She said, you have that disgusting toilet bowl brush sitting by your um, toilet just collecting filth after filth. And I thought, oh, she's right. So now I just have a disposable toilet cleaner and this works awesome okay moving on um this butter dish i got this because i want to put those mckenzie checks like i did my three-tier tray on here on this butter dish so i'm excited about that that'll be cool and i won't do the dish part this part here i won't put paint on because i'm going to be putting my butter on that but this the lid on the outside of the lid i'll paint that so that'll be cool Um, oh, I am obsessed with this crease brush by Wet n Wild. I picked up three more of them because, uh, they're fabulous. I thought those would be way too big, but I've seen beauty gurus where they take this brush for their, for their crease and they just take their crease and they go like a windshield wiper back and forth, back and forth. And I would think, aren't they going to get up too high everywhere? No, it gets right in your crease and you can just go back and forth like a windshield wiper and it blends it. And then you can even do your outer corner with, get these in your life and try it. This, these brushes are the bomb. I love those brushes. Um, I picked up two more of these. This is the nail polish I'm wearing right now. Look how gorgeous that is. You guys, it's the most perfect nude. It just covers so many skin tones. If you have a dark skin tone, it's good. If you have a lighter skin tone, it just looks like nude. I love it. So I picked up two more. I probably have a ton. I'm giving a bunch away and I have a stockpile myself. Oh, and I looked this up on the internet. If you don't open the polish, the polish will last forever, they said. It only starts aging once you open it. 
So if you see a color you like and you want to stock, you can buy five or six. You don't have to worry. They're not going to go bad as long as no air gets to them. So just don't open them. So I'm like, awesome. So now I have like a stock of six of those because you know what? That's the perfect nude and the perfect nude is hard to find. Um, especially for dark skin, for, for black women, a nude is hard to find. And that nude, I think I've seen a lot of different skin tones, a very light skin to my skin tone to darker, use that nude color. Anyway. I'm going off about that nude. Okay, you guys, I bought two of these. Uh, one for me and one for a giveaway. I did find some more hard candy. I forgot I found this. This really pretty blue eyeshadow. Isn't that gorgeous? This would make a gorgeous smoky eye. I'd like to, I need to practice with this color because I'd like to do a smoky eye out of that. I'm going to put that over there. Okay. Um, all right. Put that down there. Oh, these lights are just killing me. Okay. But I love having the, the, the ring light. It really lightens up your video and it's nice. Okay. I bought four of these. I bought them because I love the shape. I need more mugs, like I need a hole in the head. But look at the shape of these. Aren't those gorgeous? I bought two to drink out of because I just love the shape and I love black mug. But, okay, here's my ch real Chelsea McKenzie. McKenzie check. McKenzie child check mug. That's a real one. Well, I want, I thought this is a really neat shape too. Not the same shape, but it's a really cool shape like this one. And I want to do a couple of them um, and do them more as decor. Um, paint the checks on this, on these. Is that going to be fabulous? I might do it to three of them and then leave the other, t uh, th just one to drink out of. Yeah, I'll probably do two to drink out of and two of them to do the checks. So I'm just putting these aside so I can paint those up. Oh, one has a chip in it. Anyway. They only had four. So I got all four that they had. I think they're fabulous. And did I need another mug? Absolutely not. Okay. This is a heavy bag. Okay, this is the last bag, you guys. Okay, remember I told you about the pictures? I did get two more of those. So I have a total of three. I told you what I wanted to do with those. Um, I've now been able to find two of these. These have been the hardest things for me to find. They must go in the store and just, they're out within a day or two. These little houses. These, these like that other thing I was telling you that I put in my wreath would be really good to put in wreaths. They're really good just to put all around, um, to do different DIYs with. Just use the shape and completely change this whole thing. I mean, these are just like, I knew a girl who said she went online and she just bought um, a bulk of them, 24. And I could see, I could have seen myself doing that too. Okay, this is what Olivia did. She did something like this. I'm not sure I'm going to use this or not, but look how cute that is. What she did actually covered up this whole thing right here. So it really, really framed it. But this is kind of cute in the middle of here also. So I finally found only two of these but at least I got two of them those things went like crazy um to do those little uh cakes with the styrofoam um I needed some spatula stuff like that so I got it then I think this is all that's left last thing I picked up four of these look how beautiful these are now this is a lot of times what people use these are the charges that people use to um do the three tier trays which I love how big they are, but look, see, there's no space to put all your stuff to, for your decor. That's why I like the pizza trays. But I want to use these as chargers, but I'm going to paint them the McKinsey checks. It's not going to be gorgeous. So two of them I'm going to do McKinsey checks on, and I picked up four, and then two of them I'm going to do flowers. So if you were set at, ta at a table, you'd have... Um, checks and flowers set it all the table like some people would have flowers some people would have checks as their charger because that's what she does she mixes the checks and the flowers together and then when she does the plates she'll do uh plates that have checks and then she'll do another plate that has flowers and then another plate that has checks and then a bowl that has flowers 
I painted on it. So it just looks really cool. People are probably hurt, sick to hear me say McKinsey, McKinsey Childs, but I'm obsessed. Shop HQ, pay attention to when she comes on there and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see all the stuff that they make. You'll be obsessed too. And then you can do, you can, if you can buy some of her stuff on there and like I do, and then do a bunch of DIYs. That's what I do. But it's not going to stop me. I'm not going to buy, I mean, I can never buy tons of it because it's expensive, really expensive, but I can buy a few pieces here and there and then I can make my own pieces. So very exciting. Okay, you guys, that is it for this Dollar Tree haul, I think. Wait, one second. Let me make sure. There's, okay, that's those. Okay. Yeah, that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. It was a huge one. Um, I got another Dollar Tree haul coming, hopefully this week. Cause I need to get caught on my Dollar Tree hauls. I have a lot of crap. I need to stay out of the Dollar Tree. I'm a hot mess, you guys. I need to stay out of there. The addiction is real with the Dollar Tree, you guys. The addiction is real. Okay, you guys, that's it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. I can give this video a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.